Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Gemini, most important message is what's coming towards you, any specific person you're thinking about or dealing with, right? Gemini. Oh, we already have a message to the sea. Moving on or moving forward in a situation Wow, we have to go the distance. A lot of movement. 7 and 47. This is Ketu, the south node. And then this is south and north node together, 4 and 7, right? Very interesting messages. For a lot of you, um, I just had a weird message. Like, this is very specific for someone. I see you're trying to move forward in a situation from something trying to move on from something or move forward in something but the pace was very slow and there was some sort of disappointment till now there was a disappointment okay i'm trying but i'm not very happy but then some power is getting associated with you some person coming in maybe motivating you or some sort of motivation power and that sort of aggression that was missing till now is coming in and that is my dear bringing that uh, energy give you the push give you the give you the aggression to move forward that is bringing in that and for a lot of you i see your pace your um, strength your power is increasing multiple folds this week and i see you guys wow we have two cards flipped over here we have uh, for a lot of you i feel that pace is getting added on and now the distance that you're, go you're going to cover is going to be full of uh, aggression and speed and pace you're getting my point something is getting added to your i just felt portfolio but yes something is getting added here gemini and that's giving you the charm the power to quickly move forward now we have the five of swords and the sun in the reverse position for someone very specific i just felt that um, there was a lot of unhappiness associated with some sort of mind games deception and cheating in your surroundings you felt people were unfair or there's somebody who is still unfair with you in some dealings maybe love life maybe personal life maybe family but there has been a lot of manipulation in past so for a lot of you i see there's a decision that you're making that i don't want deception i don't want this energy to continue right but on the other hand despite of that can you see that dissatisfaction and unhappiness for someone very specific i just felt that you were feeling lack of attention lack of charm lack of uh, support lack of light in a situation and then you made a decision that, okay, I want to end mind games. I'm moving on. I'm moving forward. This is where you're heading. You're about to hit a checkpoint here, right? For someone very specific, another message I heard that you might have to squeeze out all the emotions in the situation. If you are feeling very emotional in a situation, emotions might be blurring up your mindset or your thought process in a situation. So... Try to just squeeze out all the emotions and think in a very practical way, right? Let's see. People in your surroundings can be a specific person we're talking about. This person is... Uh, this person is or has already given up on something. They're turned away. They might not be talking. Very distant and cold right now. We're going to see why is this person acting this way. But you overall are feeling that, okay, I need to maintain a happy, healthy distance from this situation because I need to focus on myself. The situation is bringing in a lot of independence, a lot of uh, stability, a lot of, uh, just a second, a lot of um, confidence in you, right? And you're eventually realizing that I can work without this person too. I can work without their independence too. That is very interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. For a lot of you, a new charm, passion, fun, excitement is definitely getting added in this situation. Wow. 
before jumping on to conclusion i'm going to take out more cards but this appears really good some new inspiration again do you remember some new inspiration from disappointment to power is coming in so some inspiration is definitely getting added here ah oh, okay making sense this person desires for you gemini really desires for you they're attracted they're passionate they want to talk they want to make an offer here right and they are very hopeful at least they're, they're having this hope or desire that uh, you wow they're just controlling the urge here to initiate the conversation or say something about this strength very interesting energy Mm -hmm. meanwhile what i see from the cards is that you might be having some other attraction on your head you might be having someone else you might be thinking about somebody else is it a love triangle situation well look at that six of swords to the sea moving on from turbulent waters Hmm. Interesting. Eight of Pentacles here. Again, this seven number. You know, South Node always talks about confusions in our life. Now, when I talk about South Node, it resembles to Ketu in sidereal astrology, right? And uh, when I talk about Ketu, if few of you know, Ketu is a headless creature. They don't have mind. They just can't play mind games because they don't have it. They, they have heart. They think from heart. But despite of that, they are so curious and so um l l you know nothing can escape their vision because they're actually not seeing things they're actually uh in, in you know their intuition power is helping to see things they're not looking at the things from bare eyes they have an inner eye with which they're looking at things so for a lot of you i see if you are feeling that things are very confusing at the moment listen to your intuition I'm continuously getting number seven, number seven, number seven in this reading from the very beginning. Now, as I see where is the situation heading for a lot of you, I see you're coming from a place where you don't really want to care about this whole situation much, right? This person is turning away or trying to distance themselves from you. At least that is what they're trying to show, right? Because somewhere this person knows that uh, either you're not very happy with what was happening in the past in this situation or you might have been getting new opportunities around you, which again is not something very something this person is very comfortable about, right? Let's see more. I do see a fresh start. I do see a judgment call. And I, I don't know, this has been a theme in Gemini readings from past few weeks that I see uh, somebody here is continuously trying to reconcile a past person around you is um, looking for that open door, right? Or an open window or a small hole maybe from where they can fit in. But uh, you are on a different track. Maybe you have a lot on the plate right now. You're trying to move on from some things that have happened in your life. And maybe this person is not really something you're bothered about. Not really somebody you're really bothered about at the moment. Though this is bringing in some potential for future with the Ace of Cups. So I won't say that you're actually putting this person in pipeline, no. But somewhere I'm feeling that um, there can be a future possibility. But right now, you have a lot, a lot more on your plate. So what is this? Uh, why is the sun in the reverse position? There are some things which were hidden in the dark there was no light on them and that was the reason why there were games yeah 
Yep, making sense. Look at that, Six of Swords and Tower. They just flipped out of my hand. I don't know whether to put them back or not. Let's keep them here. No point of putting it back if they're already on the table. Hmm. The bubble busted, or this week the bubble is bursting, right? Expect an explosion. Gemini, if it has not happened till now. For a lot of you, the explosion has already taken place. The tower moment has already taken place, right? A shocking incident that revealed somebody's true side. And now you're trying to move on from it, right? I don't know it's about this person, this person, or somebody else in your life or in your surroundings. I don't know who, I, who, who this devil is. But somebody's toxic side was revealed with a big shock, right and after this tower moment the, the only possibility is to move forward move on there's no turning back here so i would say it's shocking incident and then no turning back but then it's actually good because i see as you move forward you find that courage and you find that motivation to move on. Something that's pulling you. It's not just a push factor that's pushing you out of this situation. There's a pull factor that is grabbing you in something new. That's amazing. What do you want here? This person isn't... Okay, they're all about you. Intuitively, they're, they're just all about you. I know this is a past person who wants to reconcile or this is somebody you already know. This person has a big crush a lot of feelings for you or they already have it they all always had it right always had those feelings for you and from all the cards i see from on their side it's all about you controlling the urge to tell you how strong they have this attraction for you intuitively their their gut feeling is telling them not to make any foolish move they want to take a leap of faith towards you but you know intuitively this person knows that you're going through something they're controlling the urge to contact. You know this person is attracted to you. Pretty clear from the cards. Can be an earth sign, can be a fire sign. You know this person is attracted to you. You might even feel that maybe in the future we could have something. But right now, there's something which is... Yeah, this person is very conflicted about reaching out to you. Something that you are trying to move on from. You're going to be getting an offer from this person too in the near future. But for now, you need to settle something that's already going on in your life. Making sense. Closures. A closure to a very toxic situation of your life, Gemini. And that was shocking. Like, For some of you, you knew that it had to end, but it will end this way. Now, when I say this, it might not be a relationship. It can be anything you were dealing with. You were in a toxic environment, maybe work life, maybe family life. Maybe relationship, it was a third party. But you always knew that some bubble is going to burst. Some explosion is going to happen. And it's happening now. You always knew that this is going to happen and it's happening now. And somewhere at heart, you also know who I'm talking about here. And this person is going to eventually reach out to you. Yeah, they, they have a lot to invest here. Financially, emotionally, they bringing they want to bring in that stability, protection, and everything that you're looking forward for in a relationship. You might not be though very ready about it. Eight of Pentacles, you might be feeling that I need time. Yeah. So for a lot of you, I see that uh, the conversation might be about, uh, hey, I'm sorry, but I'm going through a lot of transformation in my life. A lot of changes are happening, coming in your power, being very honest and being very straightforward about what you're going through. It's just being honest about what changes I'm going through, the closures, the endings, cycles, endings, business endings, whatever it's ending communication starts but it might be very naive that hey i'm sorry i won't be able to catch up or hey maybe next time you know something on that something on that line 
it's gonna take some time i want to know what is this devil about what is this devil about for gemini whoa it's definitely about oh divorcee mother discernment i see you are going through a phase in your life where you're turning cold or you're turning a back to something in your home in your house in your relationship in your marriage for some of you um this is something surrounding financial matters for someone specific i just felt that uh, it's about uh, managing money with the partner you were with or you were sharing a house with somebody or you were this can be a family member also but for a lot of you this is some big money matter right yep ice king and oh ice king and queen look at that this person is cold and distant because this person feels you might not be very accepting to their offer as of now, right? But somewhere I do feel they're longing for you and the conversation, right? You look at this person as a mature person or you are a mature person and you look at them as, you know, uh, you want to deal with the situation in a mature way. So it's making sense and that's the advice too. Yeah, for a lot of you, this is work-life thing that's coming your way, but it's going to take some time. Because as a mature person, you're thinking that I need to settle the air with this thing first. Then maybe in future, right? Whatever is there on your plate right now, you want to get rid of that. So this week, I just feel it's more about putting your life to balance first and then taking any further step. So I'm going to leave you here, guys. Thank you so much for watching.